Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is 10 Minute Tuesday. My name is Kristana. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, welcome back friends and family. So today I wanted to talk about something that I've probably talked about before, but I think it's important to bring it back up because we need to be reminded, and that is inspiration. So uh, people ask me all the time, where do you get your inspiration from? And I want you to take this, it, I want you to listen to me for a second. So it's nice to look at other artists or other furniture, you know, Pinterest things and look at it or you see stuff on Facebook and you're like, okay, that's really nice. But be careful of only setting all of your inspiration in other people's work. One, because you don't wanna compare yourself to other people, right? So if you did it and you were inspired by somebody and then maybe it doesn't come out the way that you wanted, you may get down on yourself. So understand that everybody is at different levels. Some people have been doing this for decades. Some people have been doing this for a few years. Some people have been doing this for a few months. And so I think sometimes, me personally, I think when you, sorry, my dog's trying to drink my coffee. When you try to replicate an exact thing of somebody else, sometimes you're really good at it and then a lot of times you're really hard on yourself because you didn't do it exactly like they did it. So I'm not saying to not get inspiration from other artists and other people. Just be careful when you do that so that way you don't get down on yourself if it doesn't turn out that way. What are some of the places that I get inspiration from? I get inspiration from a few things and you guys are gonna be like, if you've heard me say this, some of you have heard me say this before. I get inspiration from clothes. So when you're scrolling through or you're going to Pinterest, you can put colorful dresses or something like that. So you can get inspiration from clothes you know a lot of times um a lot of times when they have runway shows they have some pretty outlandish stuff and so you can pull inspiration from there because they're just trying to throw everything and so they're not really concerned about being too colorful or having too many patterns things like that also cake decorating videos are a really good one because when you're making cakes they're all bright and fun. And so a lot of times I get inspiration from cake decorating videos or cupcake decorating videos. Anything that its sole purpose in life is to be fun and bright and vibrant, I dig it. So different kinds of clothes, fabrics, cakes. Also I look on Pinterest and look for bright colored hair or multicolored hair because sometimes, you know, people who like to do their hair fun do or do fun things with their hair. They also have really cool things that you can kind of look at with like your blends, rainbow blends, stuff like that. And also just looking around, okay? So looking around you, looking around you at and looking around um, it could be a rug on the floor. It could be a pole, a rusty pole that you saw. It could be something if you're into patina. We went to Six Flags. We went to Six Flags probably like a year and a half ago or so, two years ago, and there was this thing that was patinaed. It was originally copper, and then it was then the the green patina, and I took pictures of it because I thought, wow, that is really cool. So pay attention to the things around you because you can sometimes grab inspiration, and what that does, okay, is when you're grabbing inspiration from something that is not a piece of furniture, I feel like it opens your brain a little bit more and it doesn't limit you. Sometimes when you're looking at other people's stuff or you're looking at a piece of furniture, let's say that there's a dresser that's painted really cool but you've got a desk, it's hard for you sometimes to think outside the box. When you look at other things and you're just getting that inspiration from the way the color flows or the design and it's not necessarily a piece of furniture right there in your face, you're able to think a little bit more outside the box of what you wanna do on that piece of furniture because there's not another piece of furniture that you're looking at. There's not another piece of furniture that's limiting you. You're not looking at it going, oh my gosh, that's where they put the flower, so I probably should have to put the flower there. At least this is my personal, this is all me personally telling you guys what I do. I'm not saying to not get inspiration from other artists and other people's work, but what I'm saying is, is that there's a whole plethora of other things out there that you can get inspiration from that is not just furniture based and it could potentially unlock 
some more creativity in you and it also will give you better color patterns because a lot of times other artists, you know, not everyone's super colorful. And so, like I said, when you're going into an industry or you're looking at an industry like cake decorating or fabric or whatever it is, and the name of the game is color and design, then sometimes that will help you, guide you in a way to be more creative. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. I just put a video up yesterday. I did it last night. I need to get on a schedule with that stuff. But anyway, so if you, there's a new video up and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know what you guys wanna go over for the next 10 minute Tuesday. I hope you guys have an amazing week. I know there's a lot of really bad weather out there. I know a lot of you guys are freezing. It is currently snowing right here. My kids had early release. So I'm going to hop off here. I hope you guys have an amazing week and until next time, I will see you later. Bye.